Hi, it's Nathan Goldstein. I'm a founder of Vested Business Brokers. We help people buy, grow, and sell uh, pro profitable, privately held businesses. And uh, you know, the most important thing about selling your business is preparing it for sale. Like, you know, take take a deep breath, folks. And let let me explain to you the process. You know, um, the process is we're going to take your business. We're going to take down some financial information from you. It's going to be your representations. And you're going to tell us that your business is for sale, right? And then we're going to put it on our system. And on the system, there's 120,000 pre-qualified business buyers. Now, those, those buyers are going to be notified by email that your business is now in the system and it's, it's ready to be bought if somebody wants to buy the business. Now, put yourself in, in the buyer's shoes just for a moment. They're entrepreneurs just like you, okay? They've worked their whole life, they've saved up uh, some money, they now want to show the rest of the world that they could run a profitable business and that you, uh, as the business creator or the business manager or owner, uh, could now go retire, play golf, go sailing, whatever you'd like to, like to do. Uh, I, one of my desires is uh, to go flying in an airplane. I want to see every single small airport in the United States in the next you know, a few years. Um, I love that time that I spend up in the air because it's quiet time that I can really think and stay focused on uh, what I have to do at hand. And I think learning uh, how to fly an airplane was a, a, a big achievement for me. But one of the things that it taught me, it taught me discipline, right? So both in, in, a, in a sales transaction or a business brokerage transaction, you need to have discipline, okay? You need to stay calm. Your buyer is going to ask you many, many private questions about your business. And the seller, you being the entrepreneur, you're going to have to answer that buyer's questions. And many times you're, you know, you, you're going to say, I don't know that information, I'll have to get it from my accountant or my professionals. Um, but if you lie to a buyer, the deal's dead. I mean, if, he, if, if a buyer ever catches a seller, lying to them about uh, how much money they did for the week or what they pay an employee or how much the rent is. Don't, there's no such thing as a slick seller. These questions all have to be answered. They have to be answered honestly and ethically. These are your representations. Um, we're going to take your word for it and then we're going to give that information to a potential buyer. Now the buyer is going to hire professionals. He's going to have his own team. They're not, he's not going to rely on your team. He's not going to rely on your facts. He's going to have his own team that's going to create a, a mind map of, of the transaction. And they have to create that transaction correctly or the deal's not going to be done. So you're going to have to prove to him what your rent is and how long your lease is. You're going to have to prove to him what your revenue is and how much your cost of goods are and how much your daily expenses and how much your rent is and how long is your lease. You're going to have to prove to him all this information. And, and I know as a, as a seller, you say, oh, geez, you know, I'm going to be sharing so much information. Trust me, you are. And that information, if you, you have to deliver it correctly, you can't deliver it slick. Um, you can't deliver it with, oh, I didn't mean that, but I meant this. It has to be 100% the truth. And that's the only deals that will ever get done. If a buyer thinks you're lying to them, the deal's dead before it starts. And so many times... I would get a call from a from a seller. And sometimes we have to learn the hard way, right? We lose a great buyer. And uh, the seller will call me up and he said, damn, I, I, I screwed up, Nate. I screwed up. We lost the buyer. And I, would, I said to him, all right, take a deep breath. Don't ever let that happen again. So I created this video today because I don't want you making those mistakes ever. I want you to start off by saying and, and, and taking a, an oath, I will always tell the truth to the buyer who's interested in buying my business. Because I know that if I lie to them, my deal is never gonna happen. So if that's your motto, you'll get your deal done, and we'd be delighted to help you. Thank you for joining me today.